case that has gripped the tri-state. An Indian Hill mother of three in jail on a million dollars bond for defying a judge's order. Tonight, Julie O'Neill uncovers new revelations about the intense legal battle involving an Indian Hill home for sale that landed a woman in jail. She is live now at the Justice Center. Julie. Tanya, as you know, it's been one dramatic move after another since Jacqueline Krista Pleatman and her husband decided they were backing out of a deal to buy this expensive home in Indian Hill, saying that they had learned that a man living next door had been convicted of trying to kill a young girl. Well, today I spoke to the father of the young man who had been convicted about how all of this is causing more pain for his family. He lived with us for six months um, after he got out of jail. Lance White has lived with the pain of knowing his son nearly killed a 13-year-old girl. Mental illness is a very difficult thing, and at the time, he had a breakdown, and it didn't meet the, the legal standards of temporary insanity, but certainly knowing him and knowing his heart, it was a, it was a temporary uh, insanity instance. White says Jacqueline Krista Pleatman saw his son's heart when she brought her children over to meet him. They met with my son and seemed to see his heart and to be comfortable with it. And uh, she even texted me and said, looking forward to inviting you over for a glass of wine after we move in. So it surprises me that it got this far. Pleatman has said she didn't want her daughters next door to White's son. Most recently, though, the courts have ruled Pleatman crossed the line to telecommunications harassment for alleged constant calls and emails to the realtor. Don't, don't, don't cry. Pleatman's sobbing in court today comes as Judge Heather Russell gives her a million dollar bond for removing a court ordered electronic monitoring bracelet. But you've got people that are, are selling dope, killing people, robbing people with bonds a lot less than 500000 Pleatman has said she has a right to civil disobedience. White says the whole reason for her fight no longer exists. His son doesn't live here, and he just wants him to have a life somewhere. Couldn't love him more, and, and uh, I just want him to be happy. I have reached out to Pleatman's attorney, Clyde Bennett, and have not heard back. And while you heard him strenuously objecting there in court to that high bond, I spoke to criminal defense attorney Mark Crumbine, who's very familiar with these kinds of cases. He says that Judge Russell was clearly sending a million dollar message that disobeying the court will have consequences. At the Hamilton County Justice Center, where she remains in jail, I'm Julie O'Neill. We'll send it back to you.